is the next chapter we are going to learn about database. So, in order to open it, we have to click on application office LibreOffice base. Usually in every software, we will save this file only after completing all the activities. But in database, we have to first save our file, then only we will be starting with our software. So, click on here next button and here finish and here I am going to give the file name as new database then click on the save button. So, we got our window opened up here we can see the various options here tables, queries, forms and reports. So, here we are going to create a table first. So, here we have to click on create table in design view. So, here we have to specify the various headings that are to be included in the table. So, as the first part I am including serial number. Serial number it will be number. So, in the field type box I have to click on the field type box and there I have to choose number. The next term name. So, here it is text. The next I am giving admission number. So, again it will be number. The next I am giving class. Here I am giving number. Then division. Here it will be text. The next is photo. So, here in the field type I have to click here. In the down arrow. Then I have to choose image. Then here marks number. So, those are the various headings that we are going to include in our table. So, here as the next part I have to set any of those headings as a primary key. Primary key means that does not repeats. So, here admission number won't repeat because as a new child joins we will be giving a new admission number. So, admission number is a thing that does not repeat. So, here Right click on the admission number and choose primary key. Then now we have to save this. So click on file, save as. So here I am giving the file name as table 1 and click on the OK button. Now we will close this window. And now here we can see we have created a table. So, next part is we have to collect the data. So, there we have to choose the option forms. And here we have to choose use wizard to create form. So, here we got the window opened up. So, here we can see the various headings what we have included. So, here first I am going to give serial number. Then comes admission number. Then name class division. So, again I am selecting name, then class, then division, then next I have to give marks, then photo. So, here in this window we can rearrange the various settings that we have included in the table. So, next click on the next button, again next button. So, here we got the various formats of forms and here I am choosing this one, the second one. Again next button, next. So, here we have the various color options. So, from here we can choose any color what we want for our form. So, here I am choosing blue. Again click on next button and finish. So, now we got our window here. So, here I am giving the serial number 1. I am clicking here an admission number I am giving here 1008. The name here I am giving Anu. Then class 10 division A marks I am giving 350. And next I have to include a photo. So, in order to include a photo, so double click on the photo box. So, we will get a window opened up. So, here I am selecting school resources. 
and their standard 10 database files then cover images and here I am choosing one photo image.jpg and click on the open so you got a photo so next then press the end key in the keyboard to get to the next record so here at the bottom we can see now 2 of 2 and here again I am give, just giving the next data so serial number I am giving 2 and here I am giving the admission number 1026 the name I am giving Asha VS then class I am giving 10th division E then marks I am giving 420 then again to include a photo just double click on the photo box so from the window that opens choose any image so here I am choosing cover 2.jpg and click on open so now I got the photo so now we have saved to data then press the end key to get the third one so next I have to click on file save 